Now I'm going to show you guys how to do a shading correction. Shading correction is very useful if you uh, take large area uh, image and try to stitch them together. Um, it's uh, observation method specific, which means uh, if you use a bright field or any other the fluorescent channels, you have to uh, calibrate it to the individual observation method. It's also uh, objective specific, so if you have multiple objectives here, you have to uh, calibrate it to uh, each objective. Before you start the uh, shading correction calibration, make sure you set up the camera to the best way um, you want it to, um, to do the imaging. You can click here for the acquisition setting, and then you can see the cameras here. Um, for this camera, I'm going to use the 12-bit grayscale. This is a monochrome camera. Uh, but if you're using a color camera or any other different type of camera, uh, you have a, a slightly different setting here, which you can set. Um, I choose the 20 objective uh, and the bright field observation. I just go on live. And before I jump into a calibration, I want to focus on my sample. And as you can see here, it's a little bit of dark corner here, a little bit of dark corner here. So when you do stitching together, this dark corner will become obvious. So it gives you a shade of your image. Uh, that's what we're trying to get rid of. Uh, once you're happy with it, with exposure time, uh, leave that menu, just close it. And then you can go to calibration from the start page to calibration and choose shading correction and they're gonna ask you which channel you want to do shading correction for now we're just gonna calibrate the bright field channel and here this uh, promotion window message comes out to ask you to take a dark current uh, correction image you only have to do it once if it's a fresh new system uh, it basically you close all the shutters let the camera to take an image at the dark condition uh, uh, the camera will use that uh, image as a reference to do a uh, correction since I've already acquired such image you can just click the skip acquisition and directly go to next here as I mentioned this objective specific so you can choose the objectives you want to calibrate for now we just want to calibrate the 20 so we antique all the other objectives we move to next and they give you a live view window here which you can see the sample and they actually are really good for cell sense to give you step by step uh, in instructions you can follow when you do calibration it basically tells you uh, for the transmitted uh, transmission uh, light pass what you need to do so you focus on your specimen adjust it and then you move that out to somewhere there's no specimen at all but it's uh, um, so sort of like a uniformly illuminated with the uh, minimum amount of uh, deep rays on it um, sometimes if your sample uh, is quite dirty um, there's no good region you can find on your slide that this is actually quite clean I, I personally find that you can move it out to completely um, out of the slide uh, do a calibration that works as well uh, it's actually recommended for lower power uh, lenses like a four times you can do it that way but for higher power it's recommended you still stay on the cover sleep uh, but sometimes it's just difficult because you have maybe mounting medium or some sort of debris on it which is hard to find a clean region for this one I'm quite happy with this one I'm just saying okay click on next Since the calibration is finished, we click on finish. And we close the window. And now if we go on live again, you can see the field of view. It's very evenly illuminated. There's no dark corner anymore. And if you move around um, to the samples, you can see the sample is very well illuminated. 
at this stage you can uh, stitching images um, as you go process manager you can set up a uh, channel I'm just going to read the setting uh, to change the exposure time and we can set up a position where we want to do the uh, image we just set up a new one for example I want to do it here start from here and I said okay go to next and maybe end here and we'll just press start As you can see, the image would stitch it together, give you a uh, uh, sort of like a two by three uh, stitch together. There's almost no shading even in the very blank area, so the result is pretty good. Uh, once you're happy, uh, you can carry on your experiment from here.